My name is Mark Trexler. I'm with the Climatographers, a climate risk consulting firm. I've spent the last 28 years working on climate change issues in, in a wide variety of capacities, and currently I'm focused on the question of how do you think about, communicate, implement climate risk strategies. When, when we think about climate risk and business risk, we, we really have a disconnect because business risk tends to be thinking anywhere from three months to two years out into the future. You know, five years is long-term planning for most business risk management. And businesses have enterprise risk management, they have operational risk management, continuity risk management, supply chain risk management, all sorts of sort of risk management frames that businesses use. But they're all short-term. Very little thinking goes on, you know, two years, three years, five years. Virtually no thinking goes on 10 years, 15, 20 years out. And so when we think about climate risk, the tools that we normally use for business risk analysis just don't really work because climate risk, you can't talk about climate risk in a three month, one year, two year time frame. Climate risk by definition is, is sure, there's a current aspect to it and there's a near term aspect to it. But you have to be thinking midterm and long term when it comes to, to climate risk and those just aren't the kinds of risk tools and it's not the kind of risk thinking that businesses are used to using. When I've worked with companies on, on risk issues, what I found over the years is that scenario planning and thinking about risk scenarios around climate risk is, is really the most effective way to help companies engage on this issue. Because you know, for operational risk, they know what the risks potentially are. Or for, for supply chain risk, there's a storm and suddenly they can't get what they need to their distributors or something like that. They, they know what they're trying to manage from a risk perspective. When it comes to climate change and sort of a longer term risk issue, what that means is that you're introducing a lot more uncertainty into the question of, well, what exactly is it that we're trying to prepare for? And when you get you know, two years, three years, five years, 10 years out into the future, that uncertainty basically magnifies. It expands, expands, expands. And so you really have to start thinking about, well, what is the scenario that we have in mind for climate risk, for climate change, for climate policy? What is the scenario that we want to manage risk for, that we want to be hedged against in terms of what we do today to control our risk under alternative future scenarios? And that, that's why scenario planning is so important when it comes to climate risk at a business level. And scenario planning is something that most companies don't really do. Uh, some do, some sectors do, certainly. But most companies don't do it, and many companies that do scenario planning don't really do it the way you need to do it to manage a topic like climate risk. 